<laughs> you disgust me. How? No, 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 no. I thought she would be like, oh, well, okay. Nah, 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 nah. Reload that. Reload that. Nope. Nope. No. 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 You already know what time it is. It's time for some more Fallout New Vegas. I can't stop playing this game. I literally just recorded the other one about an hour or so ago, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna let that be that. But I still have some more time in the day, and The Witcher 3 is kind of, at least as of recording this, The Witcher 3 is kind of at a moment where I can't comfortably continue without feedback or I would rather hear people's thoughts on something uh, before I continue and I kind of can't continue Elden Ring right now so why not play more Fallout New Vegas that's the answer I was looking for so I'm starting to understand a bit more of the situation here um I can't fully say I know all of Mr. House's uh, his motivations but from what I understand he just kind of wants to control everything I can't really tell what kind of person he is, but he definitely is somebody who wants to be in control. And I do not think he exactly thinks highly of us, but he certainly does want to make contact. So we'll learn more about him then. But I also see the benefit of kind of saying, screw Mr. House and we be in charge. I mean, I get I guess at the end of the day, it's more like, do you want to be a lap dog? You know, just another cog in a machine. Or would you rather be the one on top? Can you make this world or this place a you know better place to be than Mr. House can? Or we, like, do you want to have that freedom? I guess that's just mostly what the choice is. I'm sure we'll learn more after we go and talk to him. But I guess it's good to not focus too much on that at the moment. So if you guys are hyped for more Fallout New Vegas, you already know what to do. Hit the like button for you, boy, and leave a comment for the algorithm. You have no idea how much that really helps me out. And of course, if you want to be notified for when new Fallout New Vegas comes out, all you have to do is subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind later. And hey, if you do want early access to these videos, I'm talking as soon as I finish recording them. The best way to do that is to check out the Patreon link down in the description box below. It's not much, but it does help ensure I can do this full time. So much love to everybody who's already a patron, YouTube member, all that good stuff. And I hope you enjoy the early access. So no more of that YouTuber nonsense. It's time to get back into Fallout New Vegas. I had to, for those that didn't see the end of the last episode, I did have to go and leave Boone behind. Mostly just because he's going to shoot on sight with the Legion. Prim wimped out and Prim wimped out and accepted NCR so, rule. That's cool. Oh yeah, I made some more ammo and stuff at the end of the last uh, episode. So we have some stuff as usual. I have a decent bit of combat ammo and two LR, 22 LR. Um, we're gonna switch to that gun. But yeah, uh, I know it's like a reference to a, like a movie. I think it's Blade Runner. I've never seen Blade Runner, so I know nothing about it. Oh, how did he get on fire like that? Was that was that something ED did? So I was told that even if I'm I'm OK with the Legion now, um, I should be very careful to not bring out my gun while I'm there, because kind of like what happened when I was in uh, Freeside and I walked up on the NCR. Anders, please help me. Who did this to you? Legion caught me. Said this was the penalty for drug runners. Please let me down. You're smuggling drugs? Please. No. Okay, that didn't give me karma. I'm gonna be honest, I can come back and save you later, bro. I can come back and save you later. Because right now, I have a feeling that if I let you go while there's still more uh, dudes around, um, I, I'm going to have a very tough time. Oh, to remove them, kill them, okay. Cottonwood Cove, all right. I don't want anything to come back. To, oh, I assume you have a message for me, right? Halt! What business have you in Cottonwood Cove out? Sh yeah, show. You were the mark of Kaisar. You must be who Cursor Lucullus is waiting for. You may continue, but be warned. Mark or no, we will not tolerate aggressive action by visitors in the camp. Understandable. All right, Edie, be on your best behavior, buddy, okay? Dude, I always just feel like when you're in these kind of adventures, you, everybody needs a little robot companion. Come on, buddy. Okay, hello, everyone. 
I assume that guy over there is who's waiting for me. Yep, looks like it. Oh man, I'm kind of, I'm not nervous. I just, I, I have a feeling that if we were not square with them, we would be already fighting. Awe, are you ready to head up river? I'm ready. Who are you? I am Cursar Lucullus, and my orders are to escort you to the Legion's camp at Fortification Hill. Are you ready to go? What'll happen at the fort? You'll be meeting face to face with the mighty Kaisar himself, founder of the Legion, conqueror of 86 tribes. To my knowledge, this is the first time Kaisar has ever summoned one of the dissolute to see him. That it would be a woman is even more surprising. Yeah, they look they look down on you. Who are you going to dissolute? All who are not Legion are dissolute. They live in squalor, unrestrained by morality, lacking moderation, temper, and self-control. Their very existence is a blight on the common good. Even worse are the profligates, the subtype of dissolute one finds this side of the river. They hold themselves to be civilized, when in fact they are corrupt and self-interested. The truth will be made clear to them soon enough. What have I done to earn this honor? You'd know better than I would, but you must be remarkable for Kaisar to take such an interest. I'm ready to travel with you. The trip will take a few hours. Take your place on the boat. Dang. Oh, it's just a thing, okay. By order of Kaisar, all visitors must disarm and relinquish all banned items. This order also extends to the platinum chip you carry. For now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's one thing for the weapons, but you know what I had to do to get that back, man? What is considered a banned item? Alcohol and all chems, including stims and other addictive items. I have to bring along contingent heart defect. I know not why Kaisar would wish to speak with such a physically inferior whelp, but I will allow this one exception. You may bear Kaisar's mark, but do not attempt to share any of your medicine with anyone in the fort. Why can't I just continue on? Kaisar strictly forbids the use of chems and alcohol. By his order, all visitors must also relinquish their arms upon entry. If you come in peace, then there is no reason to not disarm. You will not be harmed unless Kaisar wills it. Agree. Your belongings will be returned to you when you leave. I'll wait. So, and the platinum chip is gone now too. All my weapons. <sighs> Crap, even, oh, dude. Even my freaking stealth boy is gone. Don't y'all realize y'all are going kind of far, man? Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burned man again. Burned man? The work never ends. Excuse me. Dang. So you're the visitor I've heard some of the legionaries talking about. If you're in the mood to trade, just say the word. You have a arm. Have you met Kaisar? I haven't had the pleasure. I have crossed paths with Legate Lanius, his second in command, however. It was unpleasant. How much you have for sale? Have a look. I should ask about the Legate as well. Uh, I figure you wouldn't be so. Wait, 9 mil pistol extended mags? Oh. 5.56 five, uh, rifle long barrel. Hmm. Bat uh, baseball bats nails. Increases rate of fire. Hmm. There we go. Give me that. Um, I would be willing to buy some of these mods, but uh, there's no reason to because I can't fully check what I have, and I don't think everything is the best option. And the only nine mil pistol I have right now is the Maria, but because it doesn't count as a regular nine mil, thanks. I can't fully tell uh, if it would work. He's the best the Legion has to offer. Or so the Legionaries say. Brute of a man. Where's a fancy metal mask in a battle? He killed one of my pack Brahmins simply because it was in his way. I knew better than to complain about it, though. Hmm. I'd like to know more about you. Shoot. Are you part of Legion? No, ma'am. I'm an independent trader from Arizona. Not at all. They're my best customers. As long as you don't try to sell them chems or alcohol, they treat you fair. 
Hell, I don't even need to travel with guards most of the time in Legion territory. All the bandits are dead or run off. You ever drive with the NCR? Between having to hire protection and getting slapped with taxes, it's more profitable to stick to Arizona and New Mexico. But I do cross the river from time to time when an opportunity comes along. Uh, do I need something oh. repaired? No, I'm good. I, I don't even have all my crap. Be seen your. Yeah, we got over 4K now. So many tasks to attend to. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burned man again. Don't blame him. Maybe he, uh, maybe he's around. Oh man, I feel like we're in a really iconic part of the game now. This is probably the most dangerous area of. Wait, a child? Don't bother me. I'm training to become a full. I can't legionary. wait until they let me fight. That's crazy, man. What they got going on? I don't even know what the legion is like, but all I know is they're very, very ruthless. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burned man again. I'm harsh on the children, but they'll be excellent legionaries. I'm quite proud of them. All right, here we go. Open for drawbridge. Wait, I wonder if we should have tried to finish the mission first. Okay, I have time. I have time. Um, that's my current quest, I believe. So, uh, let's look at a local map. It's still ahead. We haven't passed it yet. Some of the slaves have been spreading. Everybody has the same the burned man message. Again. Um, I don't think that's it. Tony. Outsiders are a rare sight at the fort. Step carefully around here and you might just leave alive. I'm Antony, master of the hounds. Hello, Yuri. Nice dog. Lupa. Yes, she's the mother of a lot of our best dogs. She's getting old, but she's still a tough old bitch. Aren't you, girl? Yeah. It took years for Kaisar to conquer Lanius's tribe, and Kaisar showed mercy to the survivors, allowing them to join the Legion. Had the positions been reversed, Kaisar would be dead. Lanius is called the Monster of the East because he never, ever shows mercy. Hmm. What do you know about the Burned Man? He's a story to frighten the younger Legionaries. He's dead. No man, no matter how tough, could survive a fall into the Grand Canyon. So he was real. That's a question. Yeah. Uh, I don't care about you. Le I'm sure he uh, he offered a very intriguing uh, quest line. Oh, whatever it is, it's over here. getting close uh, I'm going to make another uh, save just in case things go south oh it's here none may enter without Caesar's permission see Caesar none may enter without Caesar's permission isn't it Kaiser hmm if only there was a way to stealth it. Hmm. This is it right here. This is it. Find Mr. House's hidden bunker buried beneath the Legion stronghold at Fortification Hill. I wonder if this is impossible to do unless you make yourself an enemy of them. That way you still have all your stuff. That's what I'm, I'm curious about at the moment. There's no way to stealth this, I feel. Okay. Yeah, there's there's no way. There's no way. I feel if I got rid of this guy, 
Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Mm. I think we need to go and listen to Kaiser first. Slaves aren't much of a challenge in the arena. Mm. Oh. If I take a gun. Dude, I hate how you lose karma from taking from villains, bro. This actually has gotten some stuff. Man, this has got some stuff. So let me repair this. Okay. Hopefully they won't get mad. They can't tell I have anything, so I think we're okay. I think we're okay. You know, I'm trying to find any way. I feel like they really are going to try to reward you for being somebody who looks around. Mm. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. They do often have money. And I can use uh, the Legion money to go and sell to the merchant. Recruit armor. Wait, 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 wait. If I uh, dress up as one of them, won't I be fine? They won't be able to tell who I am, right? So if I have a recruit helmet and Dude, okay, wait, 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 back at one of the, the camps there, uh, I think they had uh, armor there as well. Dude, okay, so if I dress up as one of them, I should be okay, right? Oh, whoa, whoa. don't I have a service rifle too? No, no. Dude, okay, come on. I wish there was m more. Um, okay, repair. There, okay. I gotta look around. There's gotta be something nearby. Machetes. They're fine with me taking the machete. I actually want to look around to like find the armor. I was wondering if I could take it off of one of these things. Hold up. I'm going to I'm going to take a, a a good look around. Okay, I found the armor. Yes, yes. Would would that count? Okay, I think I only needed this. Okay, I'm not dressed as one of them. I'm looking forward to getting sent across the river. A free woman. It's been a while since I've seen a woman who wasn't a slave. I forget myself. Are you injured? Wait, I'm dressed up as one of them, but a woman wouldn't be part of the Legion, though. What do you know about Legate? The Legate is not a man to be crossed. Especially if you're a woman. That's all I'll talk about it. The doctor? I never finished my training. The Legion saw to that when they overran my town. I do know basic first aid, but I've had to rely on tribal remedies to treat illnesses and injuries. Healing powders and all that. 
I'm always running low on Xander root. Plenty of Brock flowers, though. For sale? I'm a slave, not a merchant. I could give you some healing powder every day, but you'd have to be a friend of the Legion. Tell me about the Burn Man. A vengeful spirit. Some of the more superstitious women claim. He was a great leader of the Legion before he failed Kaisar. The story says he was set on fire and thrown into the Grand Canyon, but his angry spirit rose from the ashes of his corpse, looking for revenge. Nonsense, probably, but there's no doubt that many in the Legion believe he's still alive somehow. Mm. What? We're property. Oh, if you're too young or too old, the men usually leave you alone. Usually. You ought to be careful yourself. I overheard some of the Legionaries talking about trying you out. How long have you been a slave? Three years and counting. If I could just get across the river, I'd be free. Not that I'd try it. I've seen what happens when you get caught. Where are you from? A small town in New Mexico. The Legion burned it a few years back. That's how I ended up here. What about it? What? The Legate is not a man. Crap. I have to go now. None may enter without Caesar's permission. None may enter without Caesar's per- Hmm. I wonder what would happen if I went and met him with this, this, uh, outfit on. I think I just have to, at this point, I just gotta go and meet up with him. I think I just have to. It doesn't seem like there's any way around it. I, I tried everything. I've been running around all over Timbuktu, looting what I could, um, finding what I can, talking Highway. to what I can. True to Kaisar. But, I don't know, man. The new slave girls are quite beautiful. Yeah, there's not much I can do. Time to go meet up with him. I assume he's somewhere around here. You must enter Kaisar's tent alone. Anyone else must remain outside. All right, Ed, wait here. Hmm. I did make a a hard save. A qu oh, there was a quick save there. I'll, I'll just go back to that. All right. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burned man. Kaisar, Volpes, Lucius. You're the courier who caused so much trouble for my legion, and yet you dare come before me. You're the one who called me here. All the bribes I sent to the Omertas ended up buying me nothing. Except Kaiser's first task. So tell me this, because I really want to know. I am feared with good reason. But you, of all people, dare to come here and stand before me, the mighty Kaisar. What were you thinking? Terrifying. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Terrifying presence that I decorate this tent with your guts. I kind of want to do it. I'm going to get instantly destroyed, but I haven't gotten to use terrifying presence yet. Praetorians to me. De 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 Degenerate. De oh. Oh my God. <laughs> they destroyed me. They destroyed me, man. Oh, they destroyed me. It's funny because low key, I want to try that again and run Some through that door. Spreading stories about them. I don't You're think I don't think it would work though. Degenerate. Run, 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 run. run. Okay, yeah, that, I don't think, I think we have to do whatever they say. I don't think we're quite making it out of here. And especially since I don't know if we get our stuff back. Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. No, don't. 
Whoa, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, let's go back here again. Let's go back here. Let's uh, not get stuck in that loop. There's no point being dressed as them either. It's not like their armor is better than what I got. So I wasn't going to fool these guys anyway. That definitely wasn't going to happen. Honestly, the shotgun might have been better anyway. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about Kai the burned man again. You can speak with me later. You're the courier who called. Okay, yeah, we get you, bro. You guaranteed my safety. I had to see the mighty Kaiser with my own eyes. Maybe I should have you struck blind so my face is the last sight you ever behold. Look, you do know why I wanted to meet you, right? A man nearly kills you so you track him across the breadth of the Mojave? You assassinate the head of the chairman in his own casino and get away with it? When you set your mind to something, you get results. I like that. The question is, are you ready to get started? Mm. How may I serve your legion, Kaisar? Oh, man. I don't want to desert this guy. And my legion will assault the Great Dam and invade the West. Before that happens, I want Mr. House knocked out of the game. A quick one-two punch with you doing the punching. What do I have to do? Down the hill at the west edge of camp is an old building. It was here when the fort was taken in 2277. Inside the building is a hatch. And inside that hatch are two steel doors that bear the sigil of the Lucky 38 Casino. Inside the building is a hatch and inside the hatch... Okay, yeah... Now that same sigil is on the platinum chip you were carrying. Isn't that interesting? Even more interesting, there's a slot about the same size as the chip on the console that opens the hatch. So you know what I think? I think the platinum chip opens those doors. Doors that can't be pried open or drilled open or blasted open. Because all that, I tried. And once I'm inside? I want you to destroy whatever you find in there. And then I want you to come back here and tell me about it. So go to the building and take this fucking platinum chip with you. My legionaries will meet you there, with your weapons and equipment. Demolish Mr. House's bunker. Goodbye. Okay, we... got out. Some of the slaves have been spreading... Okay. Um, I'm surprised we kind of made it out of there the way I did. I'm probably going to be over encumbered because of the stuff I took. Um, so going to drop this, going to drop that, uh, drop that. I might keep this one. I might keep these two, but it'll probably be too much still. So I believe this is actually the building I was trying to get into th that whole time. That's cool. Finally, we can get in, get out of there. I don't want to side with these guys, but I'll do what I got to. None may enter without Caesar's permission. Okay, he gave me the permission. Kaisar has permitted your weapons to be returned to you while you serve him. All right. Kaisar has put a lot of trust in you. Be worth it. Okay, am I over encumbered? No? Okay. Let's just be ready, just in case. Okay. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burned man again. Broken terminal. Okay. I assume it's activate the console. Wait. Nothing too big. Activate the console. Enter the platinum chip into the slot. Wait. I think we need to make another hard save. Hopefully I can still take the platinum chip.
can take it out now. But I assume I'm gonna need my weapon. Securitron vault. Oh, this. There's an army of Securitrons here. Who is that? Mr. House? What? I do wish you'd come and met with me at the Lucky 38 when you first arrived on the Strip. Or after you killed Benny, even. Quite an honor you spurned, my invite. You would be the first person to set foot inside the Lucky 38 in over 200 years. Aww. <sighs> but you still wound up here, right where I wanted you. I knew I could rely on Caesar to return the Platinum Chip to you. What makes you think Kaiser gave me the chip? <sighs> that you were searched very thoroughly when you arrived at the fort is a certainty. And as the chip is a little too large to be secreted away, I also so regard the certainty that the chip was discovered, taken from you, and given to Caesar, who returned it to you. Two plus two equaling four, Caesar wants you to destroy whatever you find in this bunker. Mm. But that's not going to happen, because you're going to work for me. What are you asking me to do? I need you to manually upload the data from the chip to the facility's primary computer. There's a terminal at the other end of this facility. Manually upload the data from the chip to the facility's primary computer. There's a complication. While I can broadcast to this screen, I can't control any of the facility's systems. That means I can't deactivate its security bots, most of which appear to be active according to the status board I'm looking at. Hmm. What will you do with your Securitrons? My army will do what an army does best. Defend territory from invaders and maintain order. What was that you said about security systems? The same equipment failure that prevents me from remotely operating this facility seems to have activated its security robots and turrets. There's a security room near the base of the stairs. Perhaps you can deactivate them yourself. There's a security room near the base of the stairs. Deactivate yourself. See what happens. I like to think you have enough sense to do the right thing. The rewards for doing so are immense as are the punishments for not doing so. Hmm. Maybe we should have taken care of Mr. House first. Okay, okay. Current status. Yeah. Oh, I'm already being attacked. Uh, I kind of wish I had that radiation suit now. Attention. This is now a combat zone. You may suffer harm up. Okay. To an including death, you remain in the area. This notice required by law. Okay. up the rads. Might need a little bit of medicine. Alright. Let's get a little bit of this going. Oh, crap. Cancel security alert. Turrets reverting to standby mode. Cool. Uh, Prot Protectron 75. No. 75 science. Um, do I have F2? Hold on. If I F5, and then I... Um, use two of these science ones. 
No, I still don't have enough. Dang. Sixty. Yeah, I mean, you need a seventy-five. Dang. Forgot how low mine was. Not worth then, because I just used two books. Okay. Pulse grenades might help. Plasma rifle. We were able to get turrets down, right? Activated elsewhere. The junction box can be rewired to override the security, control, uh, security door controls. Disconnected from the automated system. A pair of 60. Oh my gosh. She hit me pretty bad. Okay. Oh, it's a turret that I, I uh, took down. Oh, good thing the turrets are down. That'd be bad. We're getting up the rats. I wish we had that suit now. I left yeah, ED at the end. Hold it right there. Commencing lawful use of that. Yo, this weapon is kind of awesome. Scanning for hostiles. Commencing attack on hostiles. Oh. This area clear. Oh. Proceed. Okay. Examine power regulars. If the bunker's power regulars are destroyed, its reactor core will overload in a matter of seconds with catastrophic results. Hmm. So he wants me to destroy this place. What's the quest again? Upgrade the security to use for later for your own purpose. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, upgrade it. This area clear. Proceeding with commencing attack on hostile target. Okay. Hopefully I have what I need. Okay. Up. I want to take it for my own. I still haven't come. Wait, okay, yeah, it was turrets we did take out. Okay, this is this is it all over. We haven't found like a main power grid. Wasn't this where we originally came from? Yeah. Okay. Good. Only made my way around. There's a way up uh, in this area here. Go back up. Computer room door. Oh man, I'm really glad we got that taken care of. Permanently jam cutting off its access to the other sections of the vault. Hmm. Securitron operations console. Oh. Okay, I, I'm, I'm making a lot of saves lately, but here we go. Upgrade. OK, 
Okay, so what did I, I, I did? You would army. Yeah, upgrade to use later for your own purposes. Yeah, return to Kaisar. Okay, dude, not gonna lie. Uh, my science needs to go up. Man, so does my lockpick. But I always hate my barter being just too low. I hate my barter being just too low. But I'm putting this to 60. Who knew science would be my highest stat now? Um, for, I'm gonna put it in speech. Because we still ain't reach enough speech. Okay. Um, night person, action girl. With action girl perk, you gain an extra 15 act. Oh, 15 action points using that. I mean, cool, I guess. My own issues. Come to understand Night Stalker. Assuming Night, assuming Night Stalker squeezins now grant 10% movement speed, 25% uh, poison resistance, 25 plus 25 sneak. Night Stalker based consumables grant uh, increased benefits. Weapon handling. Weapons strength requirements are now two points lower for you than normal. That's pretty cool. I don't know what Zion is. Uh, robotic. You could do additional 25 to damage to any robot. Even better, sneaking up on an additional hostile robot undetected, activating it will put it robot in a permanent shutdown state. Hmm. Plus five damage. Fight the power might actually come in handy at some point. Not gonna lie. Rapid reload and partial. I say we go in. I think we finished it off. Yeah, this is the final point for it. Okay. Now look at one of my highest stats. Let's go. Now he has this face now. Dude, let's go. Okay, this is this is my facility now. This is my facility. I wonder what's actually behind this door. I wonder if you could actually open it like with cheats and see what's back there. It doesn't look like it's a door you, you were meant to open. I'm pretty sure Kaiser's Legion is going to hate me because I didn't destroy it. Pretty sure they're going to hate me. I don't even know if I can make it out of here. I'm going to make a, a separate save. But I saved before. I mean, if I told them I have the control of the entire army, I could just told them, tell them I, I, I'm supposed to do all of this. Like, hey, you guys attack me. These guys will invade and just destroy everything. 75. Right now, my stat is now 61. But even if I use the book, I'd still wouldn't have enough. I don't think the books stack. All right, we're getting rads in here. Time to get out. Your work here is done. Return to... You have a very bright future ahead of you. Thanks to your actions today, so does the rest of mankind. Yeah, let's see how long your future lasts. Okay. Hope they're not mad. Slaves aren't much of a challenge in the arena. I'm looking forward to getting sent across the river. Okay. Um. You've carried out Kaisar's will, but I must confiscate your equipment again. Keep hold out weapons. Or here you go. You're free to. I don't know. I guess it makes you le uh, carry whatever. Okay, I don't have a carry out weapon. When that happened in the casino, I was I was fine. Okay, they're not gonna hate me right now. Okay, so we we did what we had to do. We didn't destroy it. As far as he knows, um I mean I think he still has my platinum chip though. I wonder if I fully have it back. I don't think so though. Why would he give it back to me? 
It makes no sense why you give it back to me. Um, ED. Some of the slaves Stop, have buddy. been spreading stories about the burned. Uh, five. What's up? I felt the ground shake a while ago. I'll take that as a sign you've got the job done. Let's press on, shall we? <sighs> as I was telling you before, I want Mr. House out of the picture. Me too. You have an interest in his death too. If he knows that you destroyed his gadgets beneath the fort, he will strike back. You know where to find him. How he dies, I leave up to you. I'm done working for you. Mark my words, you piece of shit. This is the last time you will ever refuse to perform an order. If you meant what you said, you best be on your way, and at good speed. And forget all that I could have given you. If you ever, ever disobey me again, I will order my Praetorians to hack you to death with their machetes for my entertainment. Ooh. Those guys are... Very, very bad. Deliver the platinum chip to Mr. House. Bring the... Wait. Deliver back... Report back to further instructions. Well, he, he, they're going to be my... They're going to be my goons now, so... Don't get too comfortable with my stuff. You know, don't get too comfortable. It is a great honor for anyone outside the Legion to get an audience with Kaiser. Hmm. Notice you don't carry a gun. It's a tradition in the Praetorians to specialize in unarmed combat, because weapons can break or jam when needed most. However, our unarmed techniques favor offense over defense. We can charge the enemy and flatten him with our first strike before he can react. Is there anything you need me to do? We recently obtained an artillery weapon. But we don't have the part or the skill to fix it. Where'd you get the gun anyway? The trader, Dale Barton, salvaged it from a military base in Arizona. Yuma, I believe. What are you artillery for? The best marksmen of the NCR are usually at the rear of any battle. The gun will allow us to strike at them. I don't have the timer now. I understand. On arm, continue. Ooh. I do not have good on arm, though. Are you talking about the Legate? He's the best warrior in the Legion. A full Legionary by the time he was 12, he's never lost a battle. Had the Legate been in command during the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Legion would have won. I have no doubt about that. Are you Legion second in command? No. Legate Lanius is Kaisar's second. The Legate replaced the Burned Man after the Legion's defeat at the Dam several years ago. Hmm. I don't think I'd be allowed to, you know, I don't think I'd be allowed to sit there. Yeah. Ow. Okay. Uh, I think I am going to go because I don't want to get too deep. I honestly just don't have, I don't want to play nice with them. Not this playthrough. I don't, I just don't want to. I, I, I don't want to. I use the survival book. Oh, I've been using two roots for flour. Thanks to you, I'll be able to create twice as much healing powder per day. Here, come back in a day if you need more. Dang. I can't get... Maybe I shouldn't have done that because now that just makes things better for the Legion. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about Okay, the can I have my stuff back? Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burned man again. Okay. Go through the drawbridge. I have all my stuff back. Oh my gosh, I don't have my stuff. Where's my stuff? Come on. No, come on. Give me my stuff back. So I'm not sure if the game bugged or maybe I just didn't talk to the right guy. Um, maybe I should have talked to the guy in the back, but... I'm going to pick, just say I'm going to eliminate Mr. House for him because I am going to do it no matter what, but still. Good. Don't know what kind of security he has inside the Lucky 38, but if you can find a way of catching him off guard, do so. 
Okay, can I... Until Mr. House has been dealt with, you and I have nothing to talk about. Okay, well, can I get my crap back then? Slaves aren't much of a challenge in the arena. The new slave girls are quite... Can I get my stuff back then? Come on, buddy. Okay, let, let's try to fully leave, like, out past the drawbridge and everything. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burned man again. Look, okay, how we leave this, because this is still Legion territory. Let's go all the way out and see what happens now. Awe, are you ready to return to... Yes. Yes. There you go. Good. That's weird. That didn't happen before. That didn't happen before. Okay. Cool. All right. We're still in the territory, and I did pick that other option. So um, it didn't seem like people, they were mad at me before, uh, even though I did pick the screw you option, essentially. Um, we didn't actually explore this town, actually. I kind of want to see what's, what's going on in here. Anybody in here? No. I can seemingly take what I want, though. I don't really get the the karma system. Is is karma like a a reverse uh thing of luck? I'll try to make sure to ask that at the beginning of the episode, because you can't always guarantee people see you know this late into a video. But um, I would like to know what karma really is in this game what does it mean what does it affect raid plans uh data miscellaneous i found plans detailing legion raiding party movements in the area and plans for the future raids and troop movements from the fort through cottonwood cove work who could i give that to how could i take advantage of that I don't fully understand. Hmm. I wonder if they'd know if I did something in here. 308 rounds. I could always break them down if I don't have what I need. If I don't need it. Bubble gum. I didn't want bubble gum. On what code? Wasn't there a, a thing here? Yes, name your concern. Um, that's some armor you've been wearing. It is the armor of a Kenturian. You have the rare honor of beholding it unspattered by the blood of my inferiors. Does Legion see much action here? As much as the profligate's cowardice will allow. They haven't found the balls to attack us here, but we catch them out on patrols. With two Contubernia at my command, I've killed and captured four times my numbers. Will you pay a bounty for NCR troopers I kill? The killing of profligates should never go unrewarded. I'll pay you a small sum per tag. Trade me ammo supplies instead. I can stay in the area racking up kills. Go see Decanus Severus when you have tags, in that case. He watches over our stores. Decanus Severus. You must be the one in charge here. Of course I am, you fool. I am a Kenturian. When Wulpace and Kulta drove the NCR from Searchlight by clever means, Kaisar himself ordered me to set up this camp and harass the profligates. It's a modest presence, a single finger of the Legion reaching across the river's narrows. But with me here, it has an iron knuckle. I have dog tags turning. How many? Three. So, you're getting some exercise. This is all for now. Was there something else you want? No. I actually don't even know how many I have. Um, I kind of want to check. NCR dog tag. I guess I have one. Yes. Name your concern. Dog tags. How many? One. Killing one profligate is the work of a. Ch Shut up. Doing what? more than you are. Okay, this is his office. Ooh. Whoa, Chinese pistol. Ooh, dude, I'm so tired of all these 556 five, rifles. They're not even really that good. That's the biggest reason I don't even care about them. They're weak. 
I've outgrown them. Legion patrol notes, lad's life. Hmm. Let's... Uh, Chinese pistol. 32. And then repair. There we go. That's a pretty weak gun. Not gonna lie. That's definitely going... Uh, that's definitely going back on the shelf. Definitely going back on the shelf. Ah, way. Name your business. Uh. What? Just letting you know. Wasting. Asking questions. Yeah, screw you. Okay, I gave away all my dog tags. That sucks. Okay. Um, there honestly isn't too much to see here. It feels. I explored some of this area and cut some out, but like, there really isn't too much really to see here. Nothing. All right. There, I think there was a place a little farther away, like a shack. Wait, is that it over there? I think that's what I saw. I saw something before I fully came here that I was like, huh, that looks like something I could check out. I didn't actually look at it, though. Huh. Way, true to Kaiser. Okay, right here. Okay. Uh, not supposed to be in here. I don't know why. It just looks like junk. I wish when some stuff goes bad, they give me an option to talk my way out of it. Like, what are you doing in here? Uh, dude, what the freak was even the point of this? Admit. I think I looked already in these two. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I did. Okay. Now, I, th I think there might be one more place I wanted to see. No, I think that was it. Yeah, that was that was it. I thought there was a building on this left side. I think I'm tripping. Yeah, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Well, we kind of did something huge here today. I think it's time to kill Mr. House. I think it's time to kill Mr. House. But I would like to go and see Yes Man, though. I would like to see Yes Man first. Boone is, is over here by Novak, so let's go pick him up first. Let's go pick up Boone, man. Dang. I'm <laughs> sorry you kind of got had to miss out on an adventure, but... Uh, come here. Follow me. I've got your back. Thanks. We take this boat. It's probably the last one we ever take. What do you mean? I'm ready for that. Are you? I'm ready. Kaiser won't know what hit him. No, I'm not going in right now. You ever change your mind? Okay, but he is... Okay, yeah. Oh, so he's saying you go back? This is it. You know, like, he, he's shooting on sight. Homie, I'm sorry, but you're dying from that. You're dying from that. Use some protection. Lucky for you, I got what you need. Mr. Holdout. My stock and trade? All kinds of easy-to-hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Hmm. Easy to hide weapons. Things guards can't spot when they're patting you down or checking for iron at your hip. Hmm. Let's see what you have. You aren't exactly good for business, so you'll have to live with my... Hmm. Oh. Mid. Mid stuff. Melee stuff. Call me right when I was running around. Everybody, everybody. Oh, that she looks like my character. Okay. Um. Yes, man, should be right over here. Um. 
he let him know what I did. Now, hopefully he will upgrade my thing. Oh! Hi. Yeah. Hmm. So Notes. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to the Lucky 38 now. Uh, I, th I think it's time. I think it's time. Nobody's gone in there in 200 years. Okay, I'm gonna make a save. I have no idea how this is gonna plan out. I know some people are like, no, wait, let's give you advice first. Man, I, I gotta go in blind, Victor. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Thank you, Victor. I see you brought some friends. Sorry, partner. But they're gonna have to stay outside. Hey, all right, please. No problem, I'll head up there myself. Go. All right, see you guys. No one's been in here. In 200 years. Huh. Oh, it's been a long time. Isn't 200 years about the time the bomb dropped, I think? Gun cabinets, but ain't nothing here. Nothing in anything here. Nuka Cola. Wonder how long and how old some of this stuff is. A lot of pre war money. Auto caps, hydro book up, scoped 44 magnum. That's pretty great. Laser pistol. Free war money. This would mean a lot. If it was still back then. I guess when it happened, people were in the worst of situations. You'd think you'd find more skeletons, though. I guess even the ash might be gone now. Always a pleasure. Be advised, the Lucky 38 is not open to the general public. Trespassers will be shot. Thank you. Okay. I know there's probably nothing really to look at here, but... Ooh, all this stuff for free? All this stuff for free? Okay, I don't want to take too much. All right, doesn't look like there's much actually to look at around here. Let's just head on up. Companion dismission terminal? Dismiss all companions? No, 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 no. Uh, wait. Let's see what my pit boy says. Killer disable Mr. House. Okay, well. House. Let's just go down the list. He's probably at the very tippy top, but oh. Mr. House is just pleased as punch you got those old Securitrons back on mine show. Who are you? I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. Oh. Uh, we didn't have robots like you back in a couple of weeks on. What's your model? What can you tell me about new oh, makers? There's lots of things to tell, I'm sure. There's the three families. Okay, we know about that. We know about all this. Any yeah, about Mr. House? Why, Sugar? He's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? I guess. Sounds like you're pretty fond of him. Well, of course I am, silly. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well, he single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it, but that counts in my book. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to do the same thing. You realize robots can have such strong feelings about people. Sugar, I may be a robot on the outside, but on the inside... My neurocomputational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. So you're a copy of a dead woman. What exactly do you do for Mr. House? Mr. House has a lot of needs, sugar. 
I take care of all of them, and a lady doesn't kiss and tell. We don't want to think about that. Then maybe you shouldn't pry into it. Okay, we get it. Any uh, I have to go now. Why do people do that in this game? Oh, it's Victor. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. Uh, casino where we were. The suite? Or the lounge? Well, I don't have any friends with me because you told me to leave them at the front door. This feels so ominous. There's nobody here. It looks like such a, a fun place to be 200 years ago. You know, it, it, it's very, very off putting. But it's a, it's neat. There's literally nothing to see here. What the freak are you supposed to have fun doing? Uh, what are you supposed to do here? Access point. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go to the presidential suite. Hello, Victor. Where to, partner? Door. Terminal. Upgrade suite. Oh. Bending. Weapon trunk. Oh. Wait, so is this like... Oh, so this is a new house. So essentially, uh, yeah, my bed. Yeah, so this is like a new house. So you don't have to go back to Novak, essentially. Okay, it's just an another one. Okay. Well, hopefully after uh, dealing with Mr. House, it'll still be mine. I mean, not like there'll be anyone left to tell me otherwise, I hope. Okay, I mean, my, my people will be able to hang out here. And hopefully followers that like you have and stuff like that, um, they'll be able to stay here and I can always get them in one place instead of having to try to remember where they like to hang out at, you know? Oh, okay. Let's see. This is the eating area. They keep liquid nitrogen in there. I guess it's to keep things cool because they don't have the same tech we did back then. Okay. Hmm. Guess this is a guest room. Doesn't look like there's too much again to see in this place. Definitely looks like one of the things where we just kind of go to the objective. There'll be more to see when I bring more people here, I guess. Okay, but how do I go see the boss? Where to, partner? How do I go see the boss? Cocktail lounge, casino. I don't... How do I go and see the boss? Casino floor. I just remembered I didn't actually go in here. I walked right past it and I didn't even see that. So, can I go down here? I saw Mr. House back that way, but yeah, this is where he is. For some reason I thought he'd be a lot more underground. Maybe that's because we kind of found him in an underground bunker before. Okay. Uh, I'm making another hard save. So we meet in person finally, so to speak. You did well at the fort. Kudos. I take it you've come to deliver the platinum chip? Uh, uh. So I got out of the conversation and reloaded because I feel like there, there's something I hadn't seen here. I, I, I don't know. Some, something about the options just didn't seem the right. Disturbance at the tops. Has been resolved. Do not be afraid to patronize the tops. Oh. 
There's more. I need some way, because they said disable him, and I don't think talking to him is the right way to disable him, especially since all those robots could just shoot me. So, actually, I think I did see a terminal down there right near him. Um, excuse me, you don't mind, right? The recent disturbance at the tops has been... Okay. Log on, admin, enter password now. Open antechamber. Warning, unauthorized. Okay, if I do this, I'm about to get shot. It's all that coming. It's all that coming. It's all that coming. We probably need something. Maybe we should wait. Maybe we should wait to do this. Mm, I need to think. I need to think. <sighs> Look at the quests again. Kill or disable. There has to be a way to disable him without doing this. I can't give him the platinum chip. I thought we might need the platinum chip to actually disable him, but no. Hmm. <sighs> I should probably look at the comments uh, again. No, you should look at the comments. I need, I need to think. I need to think and, and hold up. Okay, um, I'm going to try something. I wonder if we can live long enough to do this. Use of force has been authorized. Searching for target. Confirmed. Wait. Okay. No. There's nothing here. No, 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 no. Terminal. Okay. Maybe I can turn them off. Unlock control room elevator. Oh, crap. Okay, well, this is not gonna go well. Um, I need some insta heals real quick. Uh, stem pack, stem pack, healing powder, healing powder, healing powder, powder, med X. Uh, survival lock pick. Science, crit chance. Okay, I thought there'd be more, but... Control room. Okay, I looked at... Oh. Unseal LS chamber? My Microbial infection risk proceed? Nobody came in. Oh, what the freak? Mr. House? What? So he was a person? How did I get this on accident? Oh. Why have you done this? Centuries of preparation. So much good undone. I see Kaiser's demand. Yes, man needs you out of the way. It's just business. Yes, man needs you out of the way. Your vanity project doomed to fail. You won't be able to control anything, but I'll let you live. After you die. Um. Oh. You won't be able to control anything, but I'll let you live. This will disconnect him from the network or mainframe or something. Um, so he won't be able to control anything, but he'll literally be stuck inside this machine where he'll just eventually die. I assume, I don't know what's keeping him alive, but I, I mean, he said he'll let him live, but something's telling me he would just die anyway. I mean, look at this man. There's no way he was going to live forever anyway. Um, I think it's time for you to die, bro. May there be a hell for you. A Tartarus bleak unending. And 
And you know which gun I need to use, guys. You know, I need to use that gun. Oh. Uh, you're kind of tougher than I thought. Oh. Mr. House is dead. Okay. The house has gone bust. The house has gone bust failed. Oh crap. I got it and it failed. His grand dreams for New Vegas will never be realized. Turn to yes man. Okay. I don't think they'll attack me anymore. Use of force has been authorized. Be advised. This is, this is a restricted area. Step away immediately. Okay. Okay. Well, how do I go and use the thing? Hmm. How do I go and install him? I might have to just go back to Yes Man. I thought I would install him here. Jane's gone. Victor's gone. Hmm. Be advised. The Lucky 38 is not. Uh. Go to the casino. That's the way out. All right. We did it. Oh, you heard that? Someone's coming out of the 38. I've got your back. Come on, buddy. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it's me. I thought nobody has ever been inside that place. That one must be important around here. Yeah, it's me. Damn, and she looks good to me, too. Yeah, you know it. You know it. Enjoy your time in Vegas. All right, let's uh talk to Yes Man. again <sighs> oh mr house is out of the picture already you already took care of mr house wow you work fast no. okay i'm wondering wait am i gonna beat the game if i do this if i install yes man that's the end right wait 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 i kind of don't want to beat the game right now maybe i should wait and let me go. Maybe I should go back to Kaiser and then do the side bets thing. Maybe I should do. Let me let, let me do that. Maybe I should do that. You know, I think it's kind of dumb to think about it that way. I don't think um, the game would end there. There's too many uh, like unopened things, like plot stuff. You know, like with Kaiser's Legion and stuff. Why would taking over uh, House's spot in things? I'm sure, like, cause. I'm, I'm sure I still have to resolve things with these other factions and stuff, too. So, and I doubt it would just cancel everything. So. Oh, hi. Ready for you to join me at the Lucky 38. Mr. House is out of the picture and you have the platinum chip. Wonderful. Let's go. All right. Oh, I really hope he disappeared the good way and he teleported there and didn't just you know, actually vanish. I really hope he did not just bug out. I don't like seeing something disappear like that. Okay, everybody's fine. Got a penthouse. I wonder what... It oh. Hi! This is big, huh? A very big big moment it is here goes i'll just take that platinum chip off your hands thanks wish me luck okay 
I can't move. My homies are gone. My med is Wow. Gone. Mr. House had quite a setup here. I can access his data banks and view telemetry on every Securitron on the network. Crap, it had to happen in the cutscene. Now I can't go away. Wait. So that's what the, the chip back. chip does. Mr. House had a whole demonstration plan for you. Just head downstairs to the lowest level to check it out. You'll see. It's moving me around a lot. Oh. Step closer to the demonstration area, please. Okay, so you're familiar with Securitrons by now, obviously. I mean, some of your best friends are Securitrons, right? <laughs> Our titanium alloy housing does a good job of protecting our delicate electronic insides from small arms fire and shrapnel. Our left arm contains an X-25 Gatling laser, quite easy against soft targets in medium range. That looks like fun. And for close range suppression and crowd control, we have this handy dandy 9mm submachine gun. Nice. Dang. All of this is old hat, right? I don't like the vibes right now. Like a robot takeover. Interesting. Turns out that those are our secondary weapons. All this time we've been running the Mark I operating system, which doesn't have drivers for our primary weapons. Imagine! It's always a driver error. Now watch this. I'm downloading the Mark II OS to all Securitrons on the network. Makes quite a difference. With the M235 missile launcher, we can engage ground and air targets at long range. And Dang. a rapid fire G28 grenade launching system makes us deadly in close range engagements. Woo! Look at that! The OS upgrade also includes drivers for our onboard auto repair systems. Just try to hurt us now! All together, this software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness. Uh, I don't know if I uh, like this. New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. Yeah, what cause? You can come back up and see me or be on your way. I know you're a busy person. <sighs> see, Kaiser's Legion's infamy gained. Beware the wrath of Kaiser. Oh, I think that means you messed up. You're probably... Uh, you, like you're on hot thin ice with us. Yes, man. An entire army of upgraded Securitrons just standing by over at the fort. Don't tread on Pretty the bear. Neat, huh? Oh, crap. Mm, decided not to do the other option for now. I st we still have crap to do with everybody else. I hear shooting. The recent disturbance at Gamora has been resolved. Do not be afraid to patronize Gamora. Huh. I wonder what. You should see this place at night. You look like you just crawled out of the desert. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, I think we're kind of done in here. I mean, things still seem all right out here. So, I think we're okay for now. Someone opens the lucky 38. Oh, they know that house is gone, dude. They know. Everybody knows everything already. Things are getting stranger every day. Woo! Crocker can kiss my Good stupid bye. public Out. ass. Get out. The fountain is a research disturbance at the tops has been resolved. Do not be afraid to patronize okay. the tops. Well, I mean, they're still robots doing their job i guess so sorry i i feel like i was kind of zo not zoned out just kind of crazy um don't trade on the bed the ncr has a robust network of informants if you continue to work with yes man the ncr will no longer accept your help dang it's crazy how you can do so much for people and they just turn on you just like that bro accepted neutral accepted vilified accepted Okay, so yeah, this is uh, the strip accepted. So this is definitely telling me if you, yeah, if you continue working against the centers, you'll be marked as an enemy. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna go and finish that last quest. Um, hmm. I'm going to actually, I don't, cause I don't want to bring Boone there. I have to be very careful. Um, I'm, I don't want to bring Boone there, cause he he's gonna make a mess of them, bro. All right, you have to stay at home at Novak. Um, it would be nice that if we do become enemies with them, I could just take them out. Right now, I don't really see them serving a purpose to me. Oh, okay. It's no bark. Um, all right, Boone. I need you to wait I'll here. sit tight. Okay, because he already said next time we're going out for blood, you know? So I don't, I don't want that to happen. So we need to go to Prospector Camp. No, we need to go to Cottonwood Overlook. Oh, Cottonwood, Cottonwood Cove. I don't know what Overlook is. I didn't even see that on the map last time. I didn't even see that on the map. Um, out of curiosity, I'm gonna F5. Uh oh. I'm gonna I F5. I'm gonna see if I can save this guy. Please. Let's get down for that. Thanks for getting me down from that cross. I owe you one. Who did this to you? A Legion patrol caught me trying to cross the river. Oh. When they found the um, package, I was. Talking about drugs? Well, oh, yeah, they not don't like exactly. that. More like trying to expand our markets. I heard there was a lot of untapped territory down south, but the Legion caught me. So. Hopefully, they won't be mad at that. Hopefully they won't be mad at it. There's usually someone in the Legion right here. Hmm. No? Okay. Well, let's hope I don't have to deal with anybody else. Hold up. They see me. Are you coming towards me? Our way. True to no, Kaiser. Okay. We're good. We're good. Hey, we're good. No worries. Some of the slaves have been Back spreading again, stories once about again. man again. I've read Mr. House's obituary. Had a high opinion of himself, didn't he? Yep. With Mr. House out of the way, I can focus on smoothing out a few lingering complications elsewhere in the Mojave. First up are the boomers of Nellis Air Force Base, a tribe so reclusive it lobs artillery shells at anyone who comes near their settlement. I want you to offer them an alliance with my legion. My terms are simple target their guns against the NCR side of the dam when I assault it and they can keep their freedom if you find they aren't amenable to this offer destroy them mm. Boomer. earn the trust of the Boomer League for them Boomer leadership to neutralize the threat to the Legion mm. oh, no. come back when you have I didn't take I am, some of the slaves have been spread. They gave me the uh, objective already. So now that we have that, though, I'm kind of curious about the about the machine back here. Does that mean Yes Man would be back here, too? OK, so I made a total of four weapon repair kits, too. Um, hey, E.D. Do you want to, um, you know, for example, would you like to hold on to something for me? Also, I did, I don't know if I showed it, but I did repair the 44 Magnum. I did bring it with me. I dropped the Maria back at uh, the house as well. Um, you want to take these scrap metals and sensor modules and wonder glues and duct tape for when I'm ready to go and equip stuff. I'm going to put equip stuff. Um, like I might need uh, to repair things. I'm probably going to put that mostly on ED. It just works better because right from him, I can already, you know, go and fix stuff. So it just makes sense. Here, you carry the contraband and I will be having nothing in my pockets. There you go. There. All right, continue on. I never realized it said Vault 21 I've Hotel. Huh. Dang. Okay. 
Okay, this is the Ultra Lux. Um, I guess to tell a little bit of my plans here, um, I do continue to uh, go on with the side bets. Um, I think this is my idea. I don't care about anybody else. I, um, if I make enemies with the NCR, you know, so be it. If I uh, become enemies with the Legion, that was the plan anyway. Me and Boone are going to go and lay waste everywhere, you know, but that that's my biggest. That's my mindset at the moment. I, I plan to just say, screw them, screw the NCR, you know, like, I, I mean, they're cool. You know, I would rather not be on their bad side, but as long as they just don't care about me and they don't actually attack on site, that's all I care about. I would rather be completely neutral and they just don't care about me. That's what I would prefer. That's what I prefer. So we're gonna continue Yes Man's stuff. Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Why do you need my guns? I'm afraid those are the rules. If you don't like it, you can take your business elsewhere. Sure, here you go. My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. Understandable. Please, enjoy your stay. Where should my weapons? They'll be handled with the utmost security in our bank. I have to go now. Adieu. Well, we're all cool in here. Whoa, this guy's got a gun right here. You watch yourself around, Mr. Gunderson. Oh. Heck, Gunderson. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Uh, learn about the White Globe Society by talking to one of its leaders. Okay. F5. Let's, uh, oh, did I actually keep anything out of curiosity? Like last time? No, I didn't. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? Hmm. No, I haven't. <sighs> Ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. Not one lousy speck of information. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour and my own son just up and disappears on me. So you're a rancher? Yep. Got a whole mess of Brahmins to my name. Bighorners, too. Used to just have the one ranch. But land was easy to grab before the soldiers moved in. Before I knew it, I was running one of the biggest ranching operations east of California. Now, everywhere I go, folks I never even met shake my hand and call me Mr. Gunderson. Don't quite know what to make of that. Uh, why is your bodyguard allowed to have a gun? Made me a special arrangement with the hotel. They want to do business with me, they got to play by my rules. A lot of people out there resent success. Might want to take a swipe at me. This makes them think twice. If I'd have been thinking, though, I'd have had him watching my boy instead. Then none of this would have happened. You lost your son? My boy, Ted. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the White Glove folks. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me Dang. through this. <laughs> but that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. Um, say something about a white glove. Uh, let me help your son. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. Hmm. I wonder if somebody kidnapped him inside here. He's still here. I have a sinking feeling he is still in here. I have a sinking feeling he is still in here. But if somebody really wants to hurt him for his father's success, yeah, they might be roughing him up in one of these rooms. That's what I would think. You know, not that I would do that if I was a villain or anything, but I'm just saying, and that's what I think we would do. Business Jeff, you're at the hotel. That's between me and the White Glove Society. But let's just say they control the food supply around here, and I got lots of food to give. But that ain't as welcome as you might think. 
Does it have anything about a white glove? That's what they call themselves, the folk that run this place. They're the ones dressed all fancy with their bow ties and shiny dresses. Some of them got masks, too. Real hard to trust folks like that. A couple of them show their faces, and that's who I do my business with. I don't talk to none of the other ones. Mm. Gotta go now. I'll be here. Alright, so let's try to find this dude's son. Hmm. I feel like we gotta play this safe. There's no reason. His son would leave, even if he did leave on his own. I have a feeling someone it did do this. He actually did get kidnapped. So I need to have this stealth boy primed. I have no weapon, though. Hmm. I might need to wear a uh, mini suit in this. I'm going to get destroyed real easy, but the plus five speech and barter might help out. Might help out here. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is this outfit? Dr. Waiko. Did you see Heck Gunderson, the Brahmin Baron at the bar? He may be a wastelander, but his taste clearly befits his status. You're right. It does. Hello. Humbly at your service. Uh. Here's all pre war money. Uh. So it's all Legion NCR pre war money. Go. A pleasure. Okay, wait. Humbly at your service. So now, like turning my chips. In what currency? Take it in caps. Caps. Up. That's cool that you can exchange that. Uh, that's pretty cool. It's so quiet in this place. I have a feeling there's like copyrighted music playing or something like that, but. Okay, I have no idea where we can ask around, who we can talk to and ask about it. Uh, the sun. Hmm. Actually, we're right here where we can ask somebody right through here. Hello. Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. You work here? I do. But one can hardly call it work. I think of myself as a caretaker rather than a common laborer. Right. I suppose it is a labor of love if it can be called labor at all. We at the White Glove Society are all responsible for maintaining the beauty and class of the Ultra Lux. And as its founder, I suppose it falls to me to oh, decide how we go about it. Why is she just here? Yeah, Heck Gunderson. What else? Mr. Gunderson and I have been discussing his livestock. It's put us in a rather delicate position, you see, his coming here. Not that we aren't grateful for his generous offer. But our executive chef, Philippe, has transformed Brahmin steak into a delicacy. He really is a genius. Everyone wants it. But a delicacy is just that. Delicate. If everyone can get it, it ceases to be a delicacy. It becomes a perfectly ordinary staple. And if the gourmand serves staples, it would no longer draw the caliber of people it deserves. It would be a diner or a family restaurant. So as much as we'd all love for there to be enough steak for everyone, I'm afraid there are more important things to consider. I'm looking for someone who went missing here recently. This again? I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. It's uh, written in the Charter. Who, the White Glove Society used to eat human flesh? 
Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. All right, I'm starting to... I didn't even bring that up, but I'm starting to think it might have been... What's Though going on here? Though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. But that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. I've seen to it that those days are behind us. Oh, ho, ho. You disgust me. How? You'll c No, 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 no. No, no, no. I thought she would be like, oh, well, okay. Nah, 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 nah. Reload that. Reload that. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Wait. Welcome to the Ultralux. I. No, crap. It didn't auto save when I came in this room? No, hold up. It didn't auto save when I came in this room? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Welp. All right, welp. Back to the drawing board. All right, instead of talking about eating people, who did you talk to about the disappearance? There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride-to-be went missing during their stay here. Well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. And that young groom just didn't have a clue, the poor dear. Mm. Anyway, uh... Why, yes, I think so. If he hasn't checked out yet, I had our Mater D Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. You see, the White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy, even in the face of such impolite accusations. Well, they we are very defensive. Investigate. Okay, inquire the Mortimer. Okay, I'm investigating somebody else. A man. He just recently went missing. A man? Well, then this. Well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? What will people say? I'm going to have a word with my staff about security on the premises. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. Hmm. Wonder if that'll affect something. Okay. Ooh. It's going on and on. Um. Beyond the beef. It head back a lot uh, to his father if he's still alive. Inquire with Mortimer at the Ultralux about the investigator. Okay. Okay. So, it actually took me a couple tries to do that, but I did end up uh, swiping um, one of the keys for uh, the White Glove Society. I don't know why it doesn't show that kind of thing on here, but I was able to swipe one of their keys. It, all it costed was a little bit of karma, and that never matters, right? Um. Hello there. Food supplier. You look positively famished. Let's see what you have for sale. You... Mm. Gotta uh, go. Okay, let's look at the the quest thing again. Beyond the beef, inquire with Mortimer. Guess we gotta go the way we came. Mortimer is this way. It's over here. Actually, he seems like he's like right over. Am I allowed back here? John C. Good day. Why is everyone around here dressed up and wearing masks? Those are all members of the White Glove Society. Our founder Marjorie gave us all a dress code. There's only one rule to it. In her words, we must dress in such a way that no one can be said to have dressed better than us. As for the masks, I'm not allowed to tell you. We're sworn to secrecy. Maybe only the people with the people the people with masks are the ones who have eaten human flesh. Actually, that's not true. That's just what we're supposed to say. I think Marjorie likes them for the mystery they create and the way they make it clear that we're different from everyone else. But you didn't hear that from me. Where's your mask? Mm. Must have forgotten to put it on. How embarrassing. Mm. 
Farewell. No, there's, there's, no. Something doesn't seem right about that. be more important stuff in there it was marked easy though Good oh day. you're mortimer how may i be of service madam you have any work that needs to be done yes i'm glad you asked i've heard about you you know you strike me as just the sort of person who can help me i'm in a bind i've been planning an exquisite society dinner but there's a bit of a problem with the main course He's got a powerful and temperamental father. Flat out. He's right. At least your problems right now, cannibal. And of course, the person? The yes, the wrong person. We scouted the right one for weeks. The heir to a mercantile empire. Sort of a black sheep. He cut ties with his family and left their estate to wander. He was ideal, corn-fed and well-to-do, but no one to miss him if he were to disappear. Unfortunately, the trap my subordinate set for him failed, and as he escaped, he saw their faces. Now he's wary. What'd you do? I asked for a last-minute replacement, and they stole the son of the most dangerous Brahmin baron in New Vegas while he stayed at this very hotel. Needless to say, this could be a disaster if things aren't put back the way they should be. And I still need somebody reputable to serve for dinner. Are you just outright telling me this? Strictly speaking, we're no longer allowed to eat people. But I'm hoping the right person and preparation might sway Marjorie to see things my way. He's just outright with it. Tell me what I need to do. I need a replacement. And I need the boy taken care of. The replacement must be healthy and well-bred. One can't very well make steak from gristle. With so little time, we'll have to go after our original choice, Carlisle St. Clair. He lives in a shack north of here. For freshness, we need him alive. If you could send him here or knock him out with this and drag him into the dumpster next to his house, we can do the rest. What about the boy you kidnapped? Ted Gunderson is his name. It would be simplest if we could convince him this was all an unfortunate misunderstanding. But if he won't listen, we can't very well let him go. He'll have to be slaughtered and served. Then we wouldn't need the replacement. But you would need to deal with his father, Heck. Perhaps if you could smear some of Ted's blood around his father's hotel room, you could frame him. Oh. Hmm. Couldn't Heck just claim the intruders? No. Everyone he meets, he tells the same story. That his son disappeared from the casino, not from his room. He'll look guilty. Do the job you feel. Where can I find Ted Gunderson? Splendid. Splendid. The boy is being held in the kitchen beneath the gourmand. Here are some keys that will allow you access to him. Kitchen... Beneath the gourmand. The elder Gunderson is staying in our penthouse. I understand he's hired security, so be careful if you go up there. The elder Gunderson is staying in our penthouse. Okay. And our Mr. St. Clair resides to the north. He rarely strays far from his house, and he surrounded it with booby traps. Hmm. Will my companion here make a suitable... What? Suitable replacement meal? Marjorie said she gave you gave a free, uh, free room to a private investigator. Private investigator. Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. If I might pry, have you found something that will help his investigation? Hmm...
Yes, I have critical information for him. Good. I hope that young man gets some closure after all he's been through. Now, ordinarily, we don't give out guest information, but I think given the circumstances, he'll want to speak with you. Let's see. He hasn't checked out yet. If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. I hope we can put this whole matter to rest at last. Mm. Indeed. Okay, hold up. F5. How may I be of service, madam? Surgery. Ah, yes. I've heard that. Bro, you... Oh, is it true? I can assure you that the only thing the White Glove Society is guilty of is preparing the tastiest cuisine you'll ever sample. That is, of course, if you can afford it. Hmm. All right. He gave me keys. Okay. I did find out more about it. Okay. Let's take a gander at the quest log again. Um. This is all the same. Beyond the beef, get Ted back. Investigate. Get into the investigator's room at the Ultra Lux. Get into the investigator's room. So it said when you go to the main lobby, main lobby, and then it's one uh, floor up. That's the entrance. Okay, let's get there. Contact. Oh crap! You like that? You like that? Ugh! I'm hit. Oh, crap. Wait, I don't have any weapons. Matchbook. Oh, crap. We're going to die here. I have no weapon. Had enough? I need a bigger caliber. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, cattle prod. Where did I get that? I don't know, but I'm about to use it. I have no idea where I just got that. Damage. I don't want to come a psycho, dude. Ah. Uh. Okay. Here. Fine by me. Dude, that got me uh, so caught off guard that I wasn't able to freaking do what I needed to do at first. Take that one. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the investigator. He definitely got freaking washed. Uh, I picked up something in his, uh, off him in my panic. Uh, I'm also going to put on the white glove society. Yeah. Oh, read the thing. Read the thing. Uh, would that be meet with the investigators? Contact in Ultra Lux Steam Room at 4 p.m. I'm not gonna ignore them for now. Um. Legion note Aurelius wrote detailed group numbers is okay. Matchbook. Well, the following is scrawled on the back of the steam room 4 p.m. Okay, it's not 4 p.m. yet, but F5. Everybody is okay with me coming in here. Bathhouse. Isn't we're supposed to be in the steam room here? Things are getting stranger every day. Okay. Casino floor. There's another door here. Oh. It's a steam room. Okay. Um, I guess uh, we can wait. Yeah, let's wait. It's like 3.30. So homeboy should come in here. 
any second now. Local map. Yeah, here he is. Who are you? There's someone who found the matchbook. Looking for someone who went missing. So was the man I'm supposed to be meeting. He's dead. Oh my goodness, me. They must know he was talking to someone on the inside. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. Who are you afraid of? Mortimer. If he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have me killed. So is Mortimer behind the disappearances? Yes. The White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans. But we weren't always the White Glove Society. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. They've taken many people over the last few months, but always from freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tourists here on the Strip, even in the hotel. I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. Dang. Uh, what were you supposed to discuss here? The girl. The one who disappeared. I know what happened to her. What do you, how do you know what happened to the girl? Because I distracted her fiancé while they took her. Well, I'm not proud of it, but I had to. They could see I was having second thoughts. Some of the White Gloves began meeting privately a while back, started talking about how we'd lost our identity. I started attending because I thought it was about changing our politics. Then they started talking about returning to the old ways, and there was no way out. They'd kill me for the things I heard them say. What about Ted Gunderson? He's alive, as far as I know. They're trying to keep him fresh. Mortimer has special plans for him. The White Glove Society has a banquet every night at 7. It's in our private section. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. Uh... Yeah, I see what he's talking about. Because, I mean, if everybody did it and they were fine with it while they were eating it, hey, we all just ate human. You know, it's like, uh, hey, you're going to punish all of us? No, I mean, it's a delicacy, you know? That, that's It's dumb, but, like, I see why he's saying this. Wouldn't they punish Mortimer for deception? They might, but to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think he expects it, though. I don't either. Nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Mortimer's idea will appeal to that need. He just has to get them over the taboo. Where are they keeping Ted? I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them have stopped trusting me. Members only section of the gourmand. But you can bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. How am I gonna even do that? It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. It's guarded both the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. Anything you do to help me? I could sponsor you as an honorary member. The White Gloves are always looking for people who can elevate their status. You'd certainly fit the bill with everything you've done around here. Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy, and it'll be harder still to get them out. Any suggestions? Hmm. Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Maybe it's as simple as drugging them. Although, that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose Mortimer, but he's going to confess anyway. What if... what if his revelation were a lie? What if no one had eaten human flesh but him? That's actually a pretty good idea. So we'd, we'd have to go in the kitchen and switch out the food? If you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen and serve a convincing substitute instead, you could walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks, and then he'd have some explaining to do. Oh, man. He, he would be saying he ate Ted specifically? 
Philippe has been trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. <sighs> Ted's father's a wealthy man. He's with his resources. He rid of Philippe and cooked the banquet using his recipe for human flesh. Drug the wine. Okay, T Ted's father is a wealthy man. That may be true, but I wouldn't recommend it. He's built a reputation, and it isn't for calmness and impartiality. He's not what he looks like. They call him Hurricane Heck. The man built his empire by hiring mercenaries to drive off the competition. Lately, he's been attacking our Brahmin suppliers so he can take over their business. He's the sort to pound in a nail with a wrecking ball. If you give him the whole story on this, he'd be liable to raise the entire hotel. And God knows what he'd do to the rest of the strip. Okay. I don't know, but you can bet they're keeping... Okay, it yeah. It's... I... Okay. Okay. Um... Let's plan on meeting again as soon as... Wait. Did you hear something? Were you followed? Damn! Oh, crap. Ugh. All clear. <sighs> okay. Merc Troublemaker outfit. Okay. Yeah. We're still dressed as a member. Dude, homeboy is dead, man. Crap. I've Only... got you back. That's a good reason why I left him there. I don't even know what to do anymore. Oh my gosh, this is so spiraling. I do love that this whole quest is taking place inside the building, you know? Optional, optional, optional. Ah, find a sponsor to help you join the White Glove Society. Hmm. Can't we just talk to Mortimer and still trick him doing the same thing? I don't want to do the wine because then we wouldn't be able to expose him. Get rid of Philippe and cook for the banquet using his recipe. Okay. So I'd have to cook. House is dead. This time for good. Ah. Okay, uh. Dude, okay. Um. Dude, they hit me pretty hard just then. I didn't have uh some stuff. Okay, at five, we're going to make another hard save because there's a lot of choices to be made. Salutation. You look positively. Uh. Yeah, yeah, he let us in. Um, I'm going to tell you guys to stay here. I'll sit tight. I don't know what's going to happen. It'd be easier for me to get in. Yeah, I was told to come back here, so. The torch is the leaf's idea. Brilliant, no? Huh? The sooner you find yourself elsewhere, the better. Okay. Ah, uh, that's the kitchen. Oh, this looks like one of those rooms. You, what do you think you're doing? Lime, whatever sent me to move the kid. Thanks, one is on They sent me down to mm, repair water main bursts upstairs. They sent me down to survey the damage. Or sent me to move the kid. First, he's too trusting. Now he doesn't trust any of us. It addles the senses. I suppose caution is the desirable course at this point. It's all of our necks if something goes afoul. Cool. Oh, I leveled up. Cool. Um, I feel like we're at that point we need to get speech to 60. Um, science is at 60 now. 
high key, I kind of want to go hard on sneak. I kind of want to go hard on sneak. Um, I don't think I've seen higher than speech 70 for checks, but I, I do want to put this higher 40. OK, that should help us a lot. Lock pick will do more 55. 56. Um, unarm would be really good right now, too. Can you? Oh, war officially done. We're we'll getting them extra special stats. Intense training's done. Okay. It's funny. I could literally do this. And I'd be just as bad as every every time you feed, you lose karma. And if the act is witnessed, consider a crime against nature. Uh, fifteen percent against female opponents. Um, hacking gets easier. Kim's less ten percent longer. Explore fortune finder. More caps. Gun nut. Eve ho. Blood belly. Fifty percent less radiation. Okay. Quick draw. Retention. The bonus is last by skill magazine lasts three times as long. That's pretty great. Uh, Swift learner. Uh, you get an additional one skill point uh, every level. That is really good. I feel like I had gotten that before, but I guess I might have reloaded and cho chose something different. Attack perks allow you to select the fourth skill to be a tag skill, which instantly raises it by 15 points. Him resistant. Ooh. Child at heart. Computer whiz. Mm, infiltrator. Sandman. When you're in sneak, uh, with, when you're in sneak mode, you gain the option to silently kill any human or ghoul while they're while they're sleeping. See, it, it'd be great if it didn't happen when they were asleep. Reduces accuracy penalties. Okay, scoundrel. You gain uh, more XP for passing. I think I might get scoundrel. It's been a while. I've been really wanting that one too. Double the bonus from reading skill magazines. One additional point from skill books. Comprehension sounds really good too. Nuke, uh, Nuka Chemist. You've unraveled some of the greatest mysteries of pre-war masters. Formulas for developing special Nuka Colas. Spurk unlocks special Nuka Cola recipes at workbenches. That's pretty raw. You'll find considerably more ammunition than in containers than you normally would. That might be worth it too. Hmm. Rapid reload. Precision. Swing for the fences. Fight the power. Robotics expert. Um, even better sneak up on a hostile robot undetected. Uh, night person, fast metabolism, light step, no traps, man. Ah, oh man, there's so many I can get right now. Mile in their shoes. That's the night stalker stuff. Weapon handling. Eye for an eye. Uh, uh, for each crippled limb you have, you do an additional 20% damage. That's cool, but I don't think I'd want that. Grim Reaper Sprints. If you kill a target in VATS, 20% action points are stored upon ex exiting VATS. That's pretty cool. Lessons learned. The Wastelands taught you some hard lessons, but you come out stronger as a result. You gain 20% radiation, poison, fire resistance, and plus 5 to damage resistance, hit points, uh, and action points. That's pretty good. You don't just read books, you tear into them. Damage books you picked up become blank magazines, which you can use to copy your existing magazine at a workbench. What? All those... All those uh, damaged book, burned books, dude, that's kind of crazy. You can really stack up on those. That sounds like a super underrated skill. Oh, man, but I really want uh, there was another one I, I really wanted. Uh, that makes it last three times as long. Dang, man. Uh, and then there's the one uh, scrounger. OK, if I do scrounger now, then I need to to do um voracious reader next because I mean it's all temporary but still it's all temporary but still browser let's go for it okay um that actually should get me an actual gun now oh, actually, I actually have a pistol too and it's actually a silenced pistol as well I think I might still stick with this one. Door. Okay. Door. Door. Okay. 
Dude, you think I care? You think I care, bro? I do not care about no karma. Sorry. I, I watch karma be some big deciding thing that happens later in the game. You know, like your karma decides your ending or something. I, I promise it's going to be this is the kitchen. Wait, 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 local map, local map. We need to get like lock in, lock in. Where am I at right now? Uh, okay. Uh, tell yes, man, that you said no, no. Optional, optional, optional. Get rid of Felipe and, and, and cook for the, okay. I need to cook. I need to get rid of him, to be honest. I need to get rid of him. Okay, I think that's going to be him. F5. Just f 5 Recipes. Freezer. Okay. Oh, I actually got good karma. Okay. Now, read the miscellaneous. Motor bunny. Felipe's recipe. This is a stack of handwritten recipes, obviously experimental, with many sections crossed out and notes scribbled in the margins. The one that seems to have gone through the most revision is called Sweet Veil. However, the notes indicate a desire to make it taste not like veil, but human flesh. Okay. Okay, and this is it. Freezer. I have the key. Access terminal. Disengage the lock. Clearance granted. You ever seen one of those rangers in black armor? One Bro, one what are you talking about? My daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you done to me. Calm down. I've come here to get you out. My daddy sent you? God damn it. I almost died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. There's no time to explain, lie. I don't know who did this. Some members of the White Glove Society, they were going to eat you. Hmm. I don't think he needs to know. I mean, we were gonna, we're gonna expose him. What in the Sam hell? Eat me? What kind of sick bastards would eat a person? I'll tell you what. Soon as I'm out of here, and my daddy knows the story, you can bet there ain't gonna be no white hat society no more. It's not the white glove society isn't the blame, it's just more than a few others. To hell with that. You've seen those freaks. They dress the same, talk the same. You can bet they all eat the same. They deserve it. Was if you aren't gonna listen. All right, all right. But there's going to be some justice one way or another. I'll see to that. Okay. Let's go. I'll be right behind you. Okay. They know he's supposed to be moved, so this should not be odd. Okay. What I'm going to do is pantry access terminal. Engage lock. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is cook. Everything that's going to just as long as sleep isn't there to stop you. To wait. Intelligence. Okay. Intelligence was six or higher and a recipe required to cook the following recipe. Cook imitation flesh using recipe. Hold up. Do nothing. Um, make another hard save just in case. I did read the th crap. I read it. I read it. I know I'm overthinking, but I read it. I read it. Okay. Cook imitation human flesh. There. Use the intercom to call in the head waiter. Okay, hold up, hold up. Bring him in here. Come on, move it. Come on, move it. The intercom? Where's the intercom? Okay, wait. Is this door closed? Uh... Okay. 
How may I assist? Time to serve the meal. But no one is in their chairs yet. Surely we should wait until seven. I'll be... Okay, wait till seven. You're right, you're right. That's my fault. Um, we need to wait. Okay, so I reloaded. The main reason I reloaded was because right as it was about to hit seven o'clock, I remembered something. It said, uh, Felipe can't be there. But the thing is, if the guy who, uh, if I tell him the banquet's ready and he comes in and say I hide and he comes in, he'll see Felipe's obvious dead body right there. So I probably should have approached this from just talking to him. I did keep a save for that moment though, just in case. So, um, yeah, so if I do kind of ruin this, you know, I can't. So I'm going to have to convince him to get out of here in some way. So I'm going to uh, preemptively, I might not even need it, but I'm going to preemptively use something here. Um, okay, I do not have anything. I thought I might have a barter or speech book, but I guess I did end up using those. Um... Okay, I have these on. I'm taking these off, putting Benny's suit back on. Okay. Guess I'll just throw that on. Okay. Okay. Let's uh try this. Wait, I also can pickpocket this. And his recipes. Okay, now let's talk to him. Why are you standing still? Do you think the world waits for you while you stand there drooling? Get back out there and get to work. Oh yeah, I already don't like you. Did you have any confusion? Yes, sir. Who do you think you are talking to me that way? Who do... Who the fuck do you think I am? I'm the fucking god of New Vegas Brahmin Fusion Cuisine. That's who. <laughs> No, no, that doesn't even give me the credit I deserve. I fucking invented edible food. <laughs> Do you like eating? Good. You owe me your entire goddamn garbage existence. <laughs> Dude, this guy is scum, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's why you got murked in that other ending, though. You don't know about that, though. You'll be feeding birds when I'm through with you. I think you may be confused with somebody else. Oh, really? So despite your filthy face and your vacant expression and your complete lack of human dignity, you're telling me you're not a server. Oh. Yeah, could I buy? No, man. Crap. Oh, my heart is sinking. You screwed up in the head. Yeah, you know why? It gets worse every time some sniveling wet blanket cries about how I need to t Now get the hell out of- Dude, what the heck can I do? Oh, crap. I- Ah, oh, man, I knew it was gonna be barter or something, too. Ah, oh, dude, I kind of wish I didn't allocate my- My level up like that. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, man, I might, I might have to go and redo that save just to give myself a little bit more, just to give myself a little bit more. Ah, man, this sucks. And I even have the plus five for Benny's suit. Man, this sucks. Ah, this sucks. This sucks. This sucks. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I came back all to just freaking see that if I just pick that other option that looked like it didn't go anywhere or just got out of the conversation, it has a speech check. I didn't have to go and allocate. Bro, bro, bro. Hold up. Okay. I did something different for a specific reason. So hold up. Okay. Uh, uh, good. The speech check is still green. So I, I went back again and i may i allocated my points exactly how i had them before okay i think i saw a rad version in the pantry you should check it out no it'll ruin my ingredients okay wait f5 now we lock him out what the you son of a God damn mother f Oh, let me out. 
So hopefully that's enough. Okay, hopefully he shuts up. I have the key. Prim has a new My daddy's gonna kill all you bastards. Okay, yeah, we've been through this. Okay. Um I did reload right before this because I was scared he might do this. Dude, I know I'm doing a lot of reloading and reloading. Okay, so I killed him, got the good karma. Now I locked the door. Now I don't have to risk that. I didn't save the sun yet, though. A reason I did that is because I don't want to have any problems for when we go and get this uh, guy. So I'm going to keep him uh, done. Have that. Cook intelligence here. Okay. Now it should be it's 6 p.m um i can go ahead and wait waiting is over how may i assist okay time to serve the meal at once okay i'm gonna hide okay but i heard something Someone is in here. See how it's moving? I think he's at the thing. And he's leaving. Ah. Uh. Oh, he disappeared. Okay. Oh, it's back. Dude, I don't know. I think we should just wait. We should just wait. Okay, they came and left. Okay, now I'm gonna go save the kid. Okay. All right, we're gonna talk to him and tell him through the exact same dialogue. Once he finds out what you done to me. Yeah, we've heard this before, Ted, multiple times. Okay. That leads to just the lock. Okay, so we gotta find some way out of here now, man. I don't know how to get out of here. Bring Ted to the members only section to expose Mortimer at the end of this banquet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring uh, to the members only section to expose Mortimer. Okay. Members only section. Oh man, why is there so many plot points? That's not the members only section. I don't, I don't know which part is the members only section. I am curious about what where this leads. I'm F5ing this real quick. Just in case. I don't think this leads to it. Is this the members only section? No, it's not. Elevator to the kitchen. What leads down here? Members only section. Nice. Okay, F5 before we go in here. Let's do this. I know I'm not the scheduled speaker, but I have a few words, if I may. There was a time not so long ago when we were bound together not as members, but as family, as a clan. And when Mr. <laughs> <laughs> this quest is so crazy, dude. I'm nervous, man. Do we just pop out and be like, hello, surprise? We have to wait, wait until he finishes talking. Then we expose him. Like, uh, he'll tell you, and then we'll be like, I object. You guys didn't eat human flesh. You know, that's what we have to do. Just just wait. Just wait. House came to us with his proposal. We accepted, knowing we stood to gain much. Little did we know how much we'd lose in the process. As a society, we've endeavored to sample the finest food and drink the world has to offer. Hold up, bro. Get this stupid thing off my face. I don't want him to think I'm one of them. Good. But we are living a lie. There is a meat sweeter than the most corn-fed livestock. Most of you have tasted it. All of you, you have coveted fare? it. Among us, it is a crime to discuss a return to the old ways that unified our people. That all changes. The taboo ends. Let me finish, Marjorie. You don't know it yet, but you are all now guilty of a greater crime. 
one that ordinarily bears the harshest of punishments. Surely that you are all guilty warrants not only universal amnesty, but also a renewed discussion. For our society to be truly elite, we must dine on the most delicious, the most exclusive food known to us. And tonight, One billion to people alive. for the first time as a society, you are sampling that very dish, the meat we are forbidden to taste, the way it was meant to be eaten. Fellow members of the White Glove Society, bon appetit. Do we go now? Do we go now? Dude, there's so many different ways to do this. Okay, he said he. Okay, I'm at five in here. What the? Who is this trespasser? Bad news, Mortimer. Nobody's eating the boy you kidnapped tonight. What are you? Why is he there? Who are we eating right now? Sorry, Mortimer. Secret recipe isn't human, though. I can tell you that. No! These are lies. I never kidnapped anyone. And even if I did, there's no harm done. He's alive, after all. Trying to spin that way. Hey, Mortimer, you already said too much. You're all hypocrites. How can you claim to be connoisseurs yet deny yourselves the greatest of all meats? Then eat yourself, bro. I am ashamed to have once called everyone here family. This isn't over, though. Oh, it is. I'll begin anew. The White Glove Society will never achieve the greatness of my new order. You'll all hear from me again. Wait, so we kind of can't kill him? I thought that's how this would end. Hello there. How do you fare? Salutations. Form yes, when you fix the white. Okay, the cannibal problem. Nobody, nobody cared. I'm sorry. I prefer to converse Is with you. Is it me or do the Securitron Do we? Have you been inside our bathhouse? Nobody cares? The salts in the do? water work to balance the bodily humans. Wait, isn't Marjorie here? She's not here? Is, is she right? Yeah. Oh, oh my. How unfortunate. And in front of all these people, too. He always was a bit of a pill, Mortimer. He was so pouty when I decided to ban eating people. And now this. I should have paid more attention to the warning signs. Can you imagine what people would have said? Why, it would have been a complete scandal if it weren't for you. Okay, we got fame. Um, I don't need the sponsor now. Ta-ta. You gain the delicate taste perk as a reward for maximum reputation with the, the White Glove Society. Idolized. Renowned for your extensive support and goodwill, you are idolized by the community. Whoa, what? Let me see that perk again. Uh, uh, what was the name of the perk? I literally just read delicate taste. Ultra Luxus CD pass has taught you how to hide behind a mask. You gain five plus sneak and speech. Um, uh, oh, five sneak and speech and one intelligence while wearing a white glove mask and light armor and or clothing. Animals uh, additionally gain a chance to find more meat on human corpses while non-cannibals gain improved item detection while aiming to help them find the finer things in life. That's an overall very good perk. Okay, so Ted, I think we need to get, get back to your dad. Let's, let's, uh, I guess this, is it this way uh, to see them? Uh, casino floor. Yeah, let's get back. Okay, it's Mortimer. Okay. Talk. Oh my God, Ted, are you all right? Quit your hollering, I'm fine. You got me my boy back. 
I got no words. Now, I hope you didn't do no harm to whoever's responsible for this. I want to skin their hides myself. Now, hold up a second. It was... They're all cannibals. It was Mortimer, one of the White Gloves, who had Ted taken. He's a cannibal. Well, that does it. None of them maniacs will ever do business with Hag Gunderson long as they live. It was specifically him. Hell, I'll put me together a damn blockade. Hit them where it hurts. They control the food? Well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. Hey, 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 hey. It's a goddamn monument to inhumanity. Let them starve. Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hellhole. Hold up, Heck. That's just what they'd want. You'd be driving the city to eat each other. I don't like this place. Whole strip, really. Ever since I got here, the stink of it has flooded my nostrils. But you got a point. They're already hell-bent on depravity here. All I'd be doing is helping them along. All right. Well, I promised caps. you I'd make it worth your while. So here ten you go. Ten out of ten question mark. Try not to lose it all at the same casino. Liked. Enough news about your good deeds has passed around that people like you. Okay. What happened to Mortimer? Did he end up finding a way out? You done right by me. I appreciate it. You know, if you knew what you were doing, I could have been out of there hours ago. Shut up, bro. Shut up. You done right. You know, if you knew what you were doing, I, I could have been out of there hours ago. I wasn't here for hours, bro. I just got here. You're welcome. All right. Marjorie has done a remarkable job managing the restoration of this place. Wouldn't you agree? Okay. Dang, dude, we freaking did it. I can't believe we freaking got away with that. Man. Equipment's been returned. I saw that. Dude, I kind of want that uh, melee weapon. Dude, that joint knocks people out instantly, man. Am I over encumbered now? No, I'm actually doing pretty good, actually. I'd keep that white glove stuff. This weapon, it the shock damage is instant, dude. This this one can get dropped and this can get dropped. Um, But I'll leave the rest of this stuff. Okay. Oh, wait, this is another silenced pistol. I guess I can go and uh, fuse it with my current stuff. Why is that nail gun so... Oh, it's shiny. Man, we freaking did it, man. Oh, dude. That's so good. Our rangers are going to show everyone what happens when we're pissed off. Oh, I'm so glad, man. I think we should go and talk to Yes Man real quick. Let's talk to Yes Man. Every Securitron on the network has... Yeah. The Securitron's at the... They'll yeah. be all set to go once we boost my transmitting power and bring oh, them different. online with the network. Um, I spoke to uh, the White Glove Society had a cannibalism problem, but I solved it. A cannibalism problem? Really? I'm so glad you weren't eaten. That's two down, three to go. Three to go. Oh, yeah, it's these. If you oh, okay. I can't talk about Marjorie now. Okay, we did it. We did it. Okay, there is one loose thread that I thought about earlier during the whole conversation uh, and exposing thing, but um, <laughs> it's that I left my uh, things there. I really do wish that the terminal there at the Lucky 38 could um, gather all allies to me. You know, it, it gives me the option to dismiss them, but that makes me scared. It makes me feel around? like they're, I'm going to it's going to send them back to where I found them, you know, and I'm going to have to like what go to uh, I don't even know what prim to go and get um, ED back and then I'm going to have to go to Novak to go and get him back. I mean, granted, that might even be faster than going <laughs> back down in the depths of uh, the Ultra Lux, but dang, I still got to beg go. your pardon. But could I? He pulled out weapons. Yeah, my deep. Okay. What did I keep? The silenced pistol. Didn't I drop? No, I kept it. That's definitely one you can keep. You can keep silenced weapons. Okay. Now I know that for sure. It might even be better to, to do that. It, as long as it's a pistol, you can keep any silenced pistol with you. And I assume small melee weapons. Okay. But yeah, let's go get them back. 
I think I can say I liked um, the Ultra Lux uh, scenario the most in uh, the most in this uh, the whole strip area. That was definitely the most fun one so far, mostly just because it didn't have us going all over Timbuktu, this building, that building, you know, and stuff like that. And I felt like the the layout of the Ultra Lux was actually a lot more enjoyable uh, than it. Uh, I felt like uh, I felt like the Gamora was way too big and all these spiraling rooms, because, again, one's a casino. This is just like a casino and, and I guess dining area. Uh, that's a, that uh, Gamora is literally everything. It's literally everything. It's just way too much. I, it, I don't know. It was just really easy to get lost there or find alt, uh, alt, alternate paths and stuff like that. I get that there were also some things like with shortcuts, but still, it was just way too hard to remember when you had so much going on. Uh, this area, while it was big, um, the most spiraling parts was in the kitchen area. But even then, it wasn't that bad. It seemed like there was only one re uh, two, like an entrance and an a exit for it, you know, w which, you know, the exit being what led to uh, the whole area where they were talking and doing the speech. So it, it wasn't wasn't bad at all. This was the, in terms of like the actual story, though, was very entertaining, though, because, again, like there's like you got to wonder, is everybody Loki cannibal or does she really mean it that they put the past behind them? But it turns out it's just a rogue faction of them that's doing it. And he's trying to rope them all in. It was interesting. It was very, very good. I enjoyed that. I'm also glad I left Boone and ED behind. I love having followers in this game for combat, but I'm not going to lie. I do think it's more often than not better to not have them sometimes um, because it is kind of inconvenient leaving them somewhere and having to try to come back to it. Thankfully, it wasn't too complicated to get back uh, to them just now. But man, hey, this is probably the longest episode of Fallout New Vegas, I think. I, I do kind of regret doing the Ultra Lux thing here because we also dealt with Benny this episode. I think that was this episode. For you guys, it was just a couple hours. For me, I've been recording this this specific episode for like six. So it, it, it's been very, very long for me. So that just lets you know all what doesn't make the cut of some of these videos. Um, even for patrons, I do try to you know, at least pause the recording sometimes. So I don't always just do the back and forth. But yeah, it's definitely been probably I think I started this around like 5 p.m. or something like that. And it's already past 11. So I think that's going to be it from me. That, that sounds like a Fallout New Vegas session to me. And I, I feel uh, very content with what we did today. Um, I think Fallout New Vegas is quickly becoming one of my favorite games ever. Genuinely, I, genuinely, I think it's becoming one of my favorite games ever. And I'm, I'm sure it just gets better from here. I, I, this had the Beyond the Beef quest. It had to be one of the best side quests in the game. And again, the fact that that's a side quest, you know, again, it has nothing to do with really the main story. But I feel like this is all main story in a way. You know, the main story is the adventure the courier goes on. You know, so I don't know, man, it just it just feels very good. You know, I, I love that. I, like the fact that you're playing this game and you wouldn't do this quest is you're doing yourself a disservice. You know, I, I love it. I thought uh, The Witcher 3 had great quests, but even The Witcher 3 had quests that like was like, who cares? And even some of the who cares quests in this game, though, are really good. It could start off with me just delivering a package, but I can get multiple other quests from this next person that I meet that ends up into being some spiraling thing conspiracy. You know, you never freaking know with this game. And that's just why I wanted to take a second in this already long video just to say, if you haven't played this game before and you're watching this video, you're doing yourself a disservice by only experiencing it through me. Homie, buy this game yourself and play it alongside me, man. Like literally this, these videos are not going anywhere. Play it alongside me, and I would love to be playing this game alongside you. Let me know in the comments uh, some of the decisions you guys made and the things you guys did during your playthrough and during some of these these routes and stuff like that. Did you, uh, did you end up getting the same outcome uh, for this uh, Beyond the Beef quest? Uh, I don't know if this was the best ending, but to me, it feels like all's well that ends well. We could have easily just gotten the entire White Glove Society wiped off the map and dang near even the strip with how rich this guy is, but again we decided to be the good people and to be honest i have a feeling that um i want as many people in my pocket as i can it's funny because the witcher 3 in that series it's doing something similar right now where we kind of need to gather up all my allies 
for things. But based off what it seems like, it seems like uh, Kaiser's Legion is going to be starting for uh, to do a war against the Strip. Everybody, you know, I even remember a few episodes ago, it seemed like there were rumors that they were going to invade Novak as well. So uh, again, it seems like they're just trying to plant seeds to like destroy this whole place, you know? So that's why, and again, I'm sure uh, their quest line, they already want me to take out the boomers. And I'm gonna assume that if I go and continue that, they want me to take out the brotherhood. They're gonna want me to take out the NCR, you know? And it's funny with that one uh, explosion we had a few episodes ago, we could have actually done a, a bunch of NCR troops out just like that, but I don't know. I'm not uh, just letting it be known here so there's no misunderstanding. I don't plan to uh, side with uh, Kaiser's Legion. I also don't plan to be exclusive to the NCR. If the if siding with the NCR means I can't do my stuff with Yes Man uh, or, or anything or do my own goals, then they can get bent too. I don't care. Uh, so we're cool, but just don't get in my way. That's how I feel about them. But yeah, unfortunately, I think it's time for me to get off this game. This was a jo absolute joy to play. And patrons, I hope you enjoyed seeing this whole thing uh, unedited, uncensored and stuff like that. You guys seem to really enjoy it that way. And to all you guys who are watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like button for your boy and leave a comment for the algorithm. It really, really means a ton. You have no idea. And hey, if you want to be notified for when New Fallout New Vegas comes out, all you have to do is subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind later. And again, just like I was mentioning before, if you would like access to these videos early, I'm talking as soon as I'm done recording them, then you can always support your boy over on Patreon with the link in the description box below. It's not much, but it does ensure that I can do this full time for you guys. And I, I just nothing I want to do more, if I'm being honest. So thank you guys so much for all the support. Patrons, YouTube members, I hope you guys enjoyed the early access. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Kingdom A. So remember everyone to play some games, have some fun, and enjoy your day today.